Hello guys, this is the last video in a four part section on uh, page 65, Solid Geometry. And today I'm just going to be covering um, basically the, the drawing of the true shape of a section. And specifically the one given on page 65. Now before you can do that, you have to be able to, to do the sectional left view and the sectional top view. Guys, if you haven't done that yet, please go and watch these videos and do it on your own uh, before you try and do uh, the true shape of the section. Okay, I'm just going to pause the video here for a moment and then I'm going to show you the next bit. Hello, yellow. Good, good night, guys. Or good day, guys. Um, just quickly, I'm going to show you how to do the true shape of the section. And uh, I'm going to explain to you guys just quickly uh, how this works. And, uh, and there's obviously more than one method to do this from. Um, if you guys have the red book from uh, Jock van Leeuwen, the textbook, then you guys can go and have a look in there. There's a very, very good explanation on the true shape of the section. Then please go and have a look there as a reference um, and look for the true shape of the section under solid geometry in Afrikaans sal het wees die ware vorm van die snit en jy gaan het kry onder vaste lichame um, en dit is baie baie makkelijk uh, en goed verduidelik in die, in die handboek um, so gaan kyk daarna ek gaan in elk geval vir julle verduideliking daarvan gaan doen goed, kom ons kom gaan by die, by die hele story uit, jy het nou klaar jou deers nie boe aansig, jy het klaar jou deers nie linker aansig Jy het laai die aanzicht geteken. Goed, nou word af van jou verwacht om die ware vorm van die snit te teken. Nou, net gauw vinnig, die ware vorm van die snit gaan oor die vlak wat jy gesnui het. Nou, hier waar ons dier gesnui het, um, is jy loondou, dis, dis die voorwerp waarom jy ons gewerk het. Nou, ons doen dier gesnui. So, die snui vlak is letterlijk net die area waar ek dier gesnui het. Met ander woorde, dit is een solide lichaam, dit is een solide stuk kaas, of een solide stuk brood, of een appel wat ek deurgesnijd, dit is die area, denk aan, as ek een appel het, en die appel het een gat in die middel, en nou snij ek om deur. Die gedeelte wat nog steeds solide appel is, dit is die gedeelte wat ek um, nou gearseer het, met ander woorde, wat ek die 45 graad lijne getrek het. Nou verbeel vir jou, jy vat na die appel, en daar waar jy nou deurgesnijd, snij jy nou net vir jou dun skyfie, met ander woorde, die vlakkie waar jy gesnijd, is nou soos een dun skyfie van een millimeter dik, op die appel wat jy deursnij, en nou vat jy die dun stikkie appel, en jy klap om nou net, oor hier thuis skyns gestaan, nou het ek om basis net in een hoek vir jou gedoen. Nou, um, ja, ek sal eindelijk baie, baie graag vir julle, ja, bykie meer wat verduidelik het, wat jy aangaan, so, om dit te doen, gaan ek net hierdie as een vinnige voorbeeld gebruik. Nou die snuivlak wat jy nou tand sien le, teen hierdie hoek. Goed, dit beteken dat op jou tekening le die vlak teen hierdie hoek. Nou dit beteken vir ons eindelijk nie veel nie, want die vorm wat ek het, wat ek nou gesnui het, le nou op een skyns vlak. Nou al wanneer hy vir my iets gaan beteken, is as ek om plat zwaar. Alright, so in hierdie geval, as <coughs> jylle sien, al wat ek hier gedoen het, is ek het hierdie vlak gevat, wat de lijn is, en ek het om plat geswaai, en toe oopgemaak. En die rede, hoekom ek dan een speelbeeld kry, van wat ek hier het, is maar dood eenvoudig, omdat ek die prentje gevat het, wat hier le, en ek het om net omgeswaai. So hierdie een is dis basis wat hier gebeur, hier sy skyns, jy klap hy plat, en jy lee hy plat. <coughs> en daarom, as jylle sien, al die lentes wat jy hier sien, kan jy basis net so jy gaan meet. Ek kan nou met my passer het vir jou wees, as jy my nie glo nie, letterlik <coughs> die afstand van daar, van punt 1, tot die heelboe, gaan precies oor een stem, by die lente wat ek hier het. Ok, hoekom? Want ek het het letterlik net, omgeswaai hier na toe. Nou, hoekom, skuif hy dan een bykie weg, Nou al wat hulle doen is, per ty keer uh, leer ek die kinders om het sommer vanaf die hoekie te swaai, sit jy net jou passe daar en jy swaai dit om. Um, maar dit maak hier erg saak nie, jy kan dit verder af op hierdie lijn ook skuif, maar let net op, moet nie dit uit die tekening skuif nie. Hou dit op hy selfde snijlijn. So hier so het hulle het verder uitgevat 
en dan is het diezelfde beginsel, je maakt niet je pas er oop, je zwaai hem om, tot op een rechtheidlijn, in lijn met waar je pas er ingedrukt het. So as ek besluit, dis my punt waar ek gaan zwaai, dan ga ik precies van die punt af mijn rechtheidlijn trek, en dan zwaai ik al mijn lijnen tot op die rechtheidlijn. Dit is verschrikkelijk belangrijk. Als ik bijvoorbeeld van die hoekie af geswaai het, dan zou mijn rechtheidlijn basis hier geloop het. Ek kan het gauw vele wees, as ek nou bijvoorbeeld besluit het, hier is mijn lijn, dan zou ik basis my pas er daar ingesit het, en ek gaan die antwoord kry, so jy sal nou hierdie punt niet tot daar geswaai het. Nou dit lyk nou bykie anders vir julle op die tekening, maar op die ouwe eind van die dag kom ek wees gauw vir julle, as ek nou hierdie punt 1 waar ek begin het, as ek nou hierdie afstand neem, as julle sien, dit stem nog steeds oor 1 met die afstand, sien julle? So, die afstand is nog steeds die selle as die afstand, wat het ek kom nou, hier na toe geswaai, die afstand van daar tot daar by precies die selle, so jy gaan die selle antwoord kry, al wat gaan gebeur is, die prentjie gaan net, die een hand skryf daar, dis al wat gaan gebeur, maar verder gaan als die selfde lyk. Goed, nou gaan dit net gauw vinnig uitveer, Goed, so baie eenvoudig, waarom vorm van die snit, die beginsel is, swaai alles oor tot op een rechtheidlijn, van daar waar jou passer indruk, dit is baie belangrijk. As ek my passer hier indruk, is dit die lijn waarmee ek gaan werk. Jylle kan die rooie lijnkie ignoreer, vir wat ons nou gaan doen. Dan verder, alle punten wat nou hier le, omdat het in een speelbeel oorklap, gaan punt 2 net van daar tot daar skuif. 6 gaan net van daar tot daar skuif. So jou punte le altyd in lijn. If you've got 1 and 4 here, 1 and 4 is not going to change position in, in uh, 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 um, uh, to the top or to the bottom. It's going to stay in the same line. It's just going to be a mirror image and it's going to be slightly longer. Why? Because here it's angled so the year it's thrown flat. Okay, so what do you basically do? You take, I'm going to take one point, I'm going to use the point that they gave us there, I'm going to open up point four, I'm going to swivel it there, onto this line, so these four, so what I love to do is, I write a four there. So, I swiveled over point four now, up to there. Now I'm going to swivel over Let's take, for instance, on the prism, 3 and 5. I'm swiveling that over. I'm going to write 3 and 5. I'm going to swivel over. I'm working with a prism now first. I'm swiveling over 6 and 2. So there's my 6 and my 2. And there's point 1. So you guys would see this. They say this is 1, but this is actually point 4. <clears throat> all right, so guys, in this way, you bring all your points over, and that makes it easy to see these three and these five, these six and these two, these point one. So that just makes it a lot easier when you're doing this. So first, we'll all those points over. Now, if you know this is the line for four, now you simply go to this view, and you see, okay, these point fours, you just bring it over in line with it. So you bring it around, you're bringing it in line with that point where you put your compass in, which is there, you're swiveling it around, you bring it perpendicular down, and you bring that line just over, and there's four. So where the four down and the four across connect, there's your point. Guys, do that with all the points, and you're going to get four, three, five, six, two, and one. Once you've done that, you're just going to do the same thing, but you now are going to do it with these inside points. In other words, um, they mentioned it as A, B, C, D, E, and F. So in this case, that is A. This one is B. That one is C and E. This one is actually B and F. That one is point E. So guys, just please note those are the points we're working with now. So once again, you guys would see I do it as two different things. First the prism, then the pyramid. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is the same thing. I put my compass where we decided we're going to put it there. Um, I'm opening it up to point C, for instance, or point A rather. In this case, I swivel it over. So I write there for myself. Guys, sorry, these points must be... On that line okay so I swivel it these point A so these my point A 
I take my B and F, I bring it over and I say to myself, there's B and F, I take C and E, there is C and E, so they all on this line. There's, uh, let me see where's the other point, there's point D, so I've got A, B, C, D, E and F, so there's all of them. The people who, are, who cannot clearly see, these are the points of the inside pyramid that I'm going to have. Once again, if I take them down, you guys will um, will see this point A. So I take A, I bring it across horizontally, I bring the A down from here, there's A. I do the same thing with B, so there's B. Bring it across, swivel it around onto that point, bring it down, bring it across from there. So there's B. I do the same thing with C. So let's say, for instance, the C. Um, I'm going to take that all the way over, swiveling it all the way over the C. I bring it down, I check where's point C over here. Simply bring it over from point C. And guys, I do that with all my points. Once I've done that, this will be a perfect mirror image. So there's A to B, A to B, B to C, B to C, C to D, C to D. Guys will see it's the same thing. It's just bigger. Why don't I have lines in the middle? Because this is only the section area that I'm drawing. I'm not drawing the inside thing. Guys, I hope you... Um, that you guys get full marks for this drawing, that you are able to do it completely. I hope that it's really verschrikkelijk waar gij hoop. Dit is die ware vorm. Let op dat ons arseer ook die ware vorm. En ons skryf WV of TS daar. TS for true shape, WV for ware vorm. Guys, please note there is one other method for doing uh, the true shape of the section. I'm not going to do it in, in uh, much detail, but I just quickly want to show it to you guys. If I've got two triangles, I can also get the true shape of the section by looking perpendicular on the view or from the bottom. So the way that that works is I take my triangle, put it on the section line, move it slightly out of my drawing. And now I've used the 45 degree triangle because if I swivel it like this, I can now take basically all the cutting points. Let me show you for instance this one. I take it over there. And now I can use that method that I had shown you guys previously. The pint ground line, pint ground line, pint method. So I can measure this distance over here. I simply take that distance. I, I say to myself, pint ground line, pint ground line, pint. I measure that distance and I put it in there. So I'm just going to show you guys quickly. If I take point, if I take this point, point one. And I numbered as point one. If I want to do another point, let's say I want to do point two of the section. I'm just going to show you guys it's the same angle. So I'm just going to work from the point two, which is this one over here. So pint ground line, pint ground line, pint. So I just measure this distance. Yeah, it looks like about 10 millimeters. I'm just going to measure it. And I put it in there. So there's point two guys. I do the same thing with all the points. I want to show you guys something. If I connect these two points, just want to quickly, this should correspond with what I've got over here. So let's measure that. Not going to do the whole drawing, I'm just going to do this part. Let's see if this is the same. So from 1 to 2, can you guys see it's exactly the same distance? So what you're going to get is you're going to get the same picture that's lying here. It's just going to be slightly shifted, um, almost like a mirror image of this, but it's just going to be lying this way. So um, this whole picture that you've seen here will now just be lying up there. Guys, I hope this um, basically makes a lot of sense to you. Um, I'm sorry. Basically, it's just going to swivel that way. Sorry, guys. It's just going to swivel that way. But it's going to look exactly like the one that you see. So this whole picture is just going to shift 
it's just gonna lie like that guys um, I hope this helped you guys a lot two methods to do the true shape of the section uh, maybe I can do one more point um, let's just quickly do also point six then this would make sense to you guys so it's on the same line six so I can just say pin ground line um, let's I want to work on the same cutting point but it's six so it's going to go down here so I'm just going to measure this distance from the XY line guys and I just put it in there now you guys would see can you guys see the same shape that you see here 162 one six two same thing maybe one more point okay so i'm also going to add in for you guys point three <clears throat> now in the same angle please important to note this angle must be 90 degrees and that line must be parallel to that line this can be anywhere you can bring it close if there's not a lot of space on your drawing you can put this x y line even over your drawing it's not going to make a difference as long as you understand what you're doing and your method is right it's not a problem so you guys would see that I'm also going to to draw over that one last point which is going to be number three I'm just going to move this slightly inward so uh, let's have a look so that would be over here so this is number three I'm just going to take that over as well once again guys I'm going to say that line is slightly out pint, grond line, pint, grond line, pint so I just measure point 0.3 in here for pint 3 daar sit om daar in and there we go so these six one two and three six one two and three i think you guys get the idea it's just going to make the same shape there and then it's going to have this diamond pattern in here same thing guys have a wonderful evening um bless you and good luck please go and watch the other videos and do it yourself okay guys good luck with everything and bless you